What's up, everybody? Recently went to Disneyland with my good friend, Jay Loner. Amongst our travels, we went to the New Orleans Square to get out of the rain, sit in the train cars, and drink our coffee. We ended up talking with this super cool engineer, wish I got his name, told us a story about uh, Ollie Johnston, who was one of the nine old men, and uh, John Lasseter, and uh, well, a train that's only been on this tracks on these tracks once, and it's going to be again on July 17th this year when they rededicate the train and the railroad with the golden spike. So I wanted to share it. It's just this four minute video that I recorded with this guy, but check it out. I thought it was bitching. Later. They just scaled that up to uh, three foot gauge. Uh, Roger Brogy built the live steamer and he also built the engine one and two. That's awesome. That golden spike you're talking about, is that going to be over here or Main Street? Should be here. Should be here. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, actually, that, if that happens, if you expect it will, that will be the second time that engine will be on these rails. Really? Which, which engine? <laughs> the Marie E. That engine belonged to Ollie Johnston, who was one of the nine old men. And he was a mentor to John Lasseter. He taught John a lot about uh, illustration, art, and uh, also taught him to run steam. Oh, wow. wow. So that engine belonged to Ollie, and he had it down at his uh, place in Julian. And when Ollie got old and uh, sick, he retired, and he sold the place in Julian. And the engine was there. So one day he told John Lasseter, I'm sad because my engine is just sitting there going to pot. Mm. So Lasseter said, when I heard that, I knew what I had to do. He told his agent, go there, get that engine. I don't care what it costs, buy that engine. <laughs> so they looked, then looked for a engine rebuilder, and they found Sean Batista up in Reedley near Fresno. So Sean rebuilt the engine had it better than new, and they were going to take Ollie up there to run it one last time. But his health wasn't good enough. He was going to make the trip. So they put the engine on a truck. They trucked it over to Home Pass. And they put it on the rails here. Oh, gosh. And they told Ollie that they were going to give him an award they were going to bring him to Disneyland. So they brought him here. We made sure he was facing that way. Uh. They brought the engine up. Oh, my. oh wow. Before he even turned around, he said, My baby. He knew that was his engine. Wow. And he ran it three laps. He gives you chills. So like the uh, early 60s, like mid 60s, early 60s? That was about 2005. Oh, <laughs> it was way up. I forget that he was alive that long. Oh, yeah. That was just before my time. I joined in 2006, so I didn't get to see that. Wow. But uh, that's the only time any piece oh, of non Disney equipment has ever been on these rails. That's wow. crazy. So now John Lasseter has the engine up at his estate in Napa. He has more track than we do, runs it up there. Napa, that's huh? Cool. Well, I didn't know John Lasseter was such a um, train enthusiast. Yeah, in fact, he has his vineyards up there, and one of the brands of wine that he produces and sells. Is called Chemin de Fer, which in French is railroad. And it has a picture of the Marie E on the label. Oh, you can buy oh, it at the cool. restaurants here. I'm going to check it out. That's awesome. Yeah. So that engine we expect will be back here for July 17th. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be a busy day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm changing my days off, so I'm working that day. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Did you have your steam license before you worked here? See who? You have your steam license, right? Or you could drive the train, uh, right? No, they teach you. We are not FRA. We're not on. We're not on public land, so all of our training is here, and we don't have to be certified by the FRA. We're certified by Disneyland. Right. So I always wanted a, a job here, but it would only be like trains or the Mark Twain. Yes. You got to get your steam license. I don't know. I was like, uh, you don't need a steam license. All the oh. training is done here. When I joined. Uh, you could come directly into the railroad, which is what I did. I interviewed, and two weeks later, I was in training. Ugh. Now, uh, you have to uh, go into the park, uh, like work in 
uh, attractions for four to six months and then transfer uh, into the railroad. Right. And it's almost a two-year process to get certified as an engineer. But totally worth it, I'm sure, right? It is the best job at Disneyland. That's tough. The That's president awesome. of Disneyland, Michael Holglazer, said to me, how do you get a job like this? This is the best <laughs> job in the park. Right. You know? We oh, man. filmed a video with him for the 60th anniversary, oh, nice. and then he did a laugh with us. He is a neat guy. He is very sharp and very nice. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you. That's right. Anything's possible at Disneyland. <laughs>